You're about to listen to English stories because this is English Story TV. A rather large cat. Once there was a man called Jack who lived in the north of Norway where it is cold for the most of the year. He had hunted a polar bear, but the polar bear was quite intelligent, and Jack could not kill him. I know what I'll do, he said to himself. I'll take you to the king of Denmark and give you to him as a present. So Jack traveled to Denmark, but it was a long way away. And on Christmas Eve, the night before Christmas, he had to stop in Dorofdal. It was snowing heavily, and he didn't want to sleep outside with the polar bear. Sure, the polar bear would be warm, but he also might eat Jack in his sleep. Luckily, he found a cottage where a man called Holwer lived. May me and my polar bear sleep here tonight? asked Jack. It is so cold outside and I am worried my bear will eat me. I see, said Holwer. Well, I'm afraid we can't help you. Every Christmas Eve the trolls come to our house. They are horrible monsters. They eat all our food, and if we do not leave food, then they eat the furniture. So we cannot take guests, as we will be moving out for the night. That's not a problem, said Jack. He looked inside and saw that the family's cat was sleeping under the stove. Ah, uh, my polar bear will sleep there under the stove, and I can hide under one of the beds. You know the trolls might try to eat you. Better a troll than a polar bear," said Jack. So the man let them sleep in the house. The polar bear made himself comfortable under the stove, and Jack. Head under the bed and quickly fell asleep. A few hours later, the trolls arrived. Oh, they were horrible creatures! Some were big, while others were small. Some had tails, while others had no tails at all. Some had long noses, like a fishing hook. And some had completely flat faces. When they saw all of the food waiting for them on the table, they went crazy. They ate and sang and danced, and they drank a lot. Finally, one of the trolls noticed the polar bear under the stove. It was dark, and all they could see was a mountain of white fur. He looked a bit like the family's cat. Kitty, pretty kitty, cried one of the trolls. Does Kitty want a sausage? The kitty did not want a sausage. The kitty wanted to get a good night's sleep. After so much traveling, and had no plans of eating anyone, but when he turned over and saw the troll holding a fork with a sausage on it, his stomach started to rumble. So the polar bear jumped out and bit the sausage, but he also bit the troll's arm with it. Oh! cried the troll, jumping back. That nasty cat just tried to eat my arm. Nasty cat! said one of the other trolls. I thought he was a pretty kitty. Now 
that the polar bear had tasted the sausage, his hunger had been awoken. But there was no food left on the table. Only some horrible trolls with horrible taste, tails and fishing hook noses. The polar bear roared and the trolls all ran away their tails and noses shaking in the wind. Then the polar bear went back under the stove and fell asleep. The night passed and Jack and the polar bear slept very well. A year later, Holver was collecting wood in the forest, getting ready for the trolls. As he was doing so, one of the trolls ran up to him, and he was so scared that he fell over. What do you want? cried Homer. We haven't finished the meal yet. I just have a question, a question, cried the troll. Uh, do you still have that awful big cat? Homer thought for a moment. Their cat had died a few months before, but the troll looked very worried, and Holver liked that. Yes, yes, we still have our cat, and she's bigger than ever. She still sleeps under the stove, and she has seven kittens now, each stronger than the one before. Yes, our house has more big, fat cats than ever. Oh no, cried the troll. Then we'll never come to your place again. The troll ran away. And just as he said, another troll never came to bother Holmer and his family again. So... What happened to Jack and the polar bear? Well, after staying the night in Dufferfjell, they traveled on to Denmark. Jack took the polar bear to the king, but the king decided that the bear was too dangerous to keep. In the end, Jack quite liked the bear, so they became travel companions. Others heard about what happened in Dorfjell, and people asked Jack and the polar bear to come and get rid of their troll problems. So, the two travel companions lived a happy life, getting food and bed wherever they went.